you're not wasting any time. Three fights all this year in the UFC, and, and you're already, I mean, people are referring to you as John, as, as, or, or comparing you to John Jones. I've seen a lot of that on social media. How do you, how do you take those types of comparisons? Whoop. As I do with everything else, you're the man. Cool story, bro. You're the cool story, bro. I really don't care. I'm just doing me. I'm out here living my best life. Paulo Costa? A lot of people are very impressed by him. Is that is it an easy fight for you? I want him next. You guys are easily impressed, I think, because you don't understand. Oh, you, you understand fighting, but you don't, you don't understand, especially striking on my level. So I saw what he did, and I'm like, we want him next, 100%, you know, but you'll see. Like, they're going to say, oh, he's too this, he's too that. All right, let me prove you wrong. I will prove you wrong. I definitely am very excited to see Cormier fight Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I очень like хочу увидеть бой Леснера и Кормье. Um, I think Daniel Cormier wins the fight. Я думаю, Кормье выиграет. Because he's just too fast. Просто потому что он очень быстрый. I felt like uh, when I fought him, uh, he was quicker than me uh, with certain combinations. Um, so I could only imagine he's going to be a lot quicker than Brock Lesnar. Когда я дрался с ним, я прочувствовал, что он быстрее меня в некоторых комбинациях. И я могу только представить, насколько он будет быстрее Брока Леснера. Вам был бы интересен бой против Ангану? Это супер бой для фанатов. I respect Francis a lot. I'm a fan of Francis. Я уважаю Фрэнсиса, я его фанат. Follow him on Instagram and everything. Подписан um, на него в Инстаграме и все такое. Um, but yeah, I, I totally would be up for it. Tony Ferguson, we led the show with him last week, Ken yeah. Flo. He now has an opponent. It'll be Anthony Showtime Pettis, UFC 229. That's the co-main event on the night that Conor McGregor fights Khabib Nurmagomedov. I love that Ferguson is on this timeline. I love that he is on this fight card. And seems like he felt disrespected by Team Pettis back in 2014 when both of these guys competed and won by submission at UFC 181. So nice little backdrop to this co-main event. And as we said last week, El Kukui is back. He now has an opponent. This is a fight, man. I, I love this fight. I saw this announcement from Pettis earlier. And I said, whoa, because <laughs> not only is this a great fight for Pettis to really get back in the mix. Obviously, his last fight was phenomenal. That was uh, the Anthony Pettis that I think a lot of people have been waiting for for the last few years. He showed up. He looked great. Um, he's in the right division. He's no longer fighting at 145. And Ferguson does make mistakes. He's not the most technical guy, but he is very, very tough. He's a guy that, of course, can give a lot of problems to Anthony Pettis. Uh, I could see Ferguson uh, finishing this one, but I can also see Pettis getting the finish in this one as well. If that last Pettis showed up, man, a win over Ferguson would put him right into the top five all of a sudden, it seems. Uh that is a risky fight for Tony Ferguson. You look at everything that Tony Ferguson has done, um, all of his wins, all his momentum, all of his consistency, and he's taken, a, taken on a guy in, in Pettis who has just recently found his form again. That's a tough one. But again, you know Ferguson. He's not going to say no to a fight. Right. And that's the rub for me. This is just a fighter's fighter because if he wanted to bide his time and, and allow himself more time to heal and try to return in a championship setting, Ferguson would certainly have a case to do that, right? It's a yeah. double-digit win streak that he's putting on the line against Anthony Showtime Pettis in a dangerous fight, as you mentioned. I, I absolutely love it, and, and hopefully Ferguson – doesn't realize a championship opportunity that night because that would mean that either Khabib or Connor was unable to compete. But I just love this lightweight foursome now that sits atop the pay-per-view at UFC 229. But staying with Luke here for a moment, this rematch with Chris Weidman, are you expecting a similar result? Or could Luke even be possibly more dominant than he was in the first fight? You no. Know, um... That's a great matchup, you know. It, it's it's it, it's it's a rematch that that uh, was good the first time out, and I think that uh, you know uh, Chris was somewhat surprised by Luke. I think, you know, I'm not sure, but I think he was surprised by Luke. So he's going to come out a better version of himself, you know. Um, and Luke himself is reinventing himself all the time, and he has a lot of more confidence going into this by, uh, you know. We'll see what happens, but, but to me, it's always one of those situations, you know, where whoever screws up first, the other ones, they're both such great fighters that one's going to take take it and ride it to the end, you know? So yeah. my my only thought process on this is that we have more options than Chris does. 
Right. You know, so so that the margin and errors is less for us. For Chris, there's more margin of errors on his part. So we, we have less less to be concerned, uh, you know, as far as screwing up, you know. So so on that edge I give it to us. So so am I favoring Luke? Absolutely. You know, what will happen? Who knows? You know, but I favor Luke one hundred percent. Now does a win in New York, does that solidify Luke for the next crack at the title in your opinion? Um Based on how close everything is, based on the fact he was a champion, and based on the person's a champion, and they both uh, they both won. Uh, they're on a, a well, they both lost their last fights, right? Or am uh, I wrong? Chris won his last fight. No, Chris won his last fight. Yeah, Chris yeah, won yeah. his last fight. Yeah, I, I think I think that I think that a, a, a fight over over Chris does warrant a title shot because they're both either one of them uh, warrants a title shot. But, it, it, you know, we'll see what happens, right? Because uh, you and I can say whatever we want. The UFC is, is the boss, so they decide who's going to fight for the title, who's not going to fight for the title. But I would think, logically speaking, that they're definitely in the running. Uh, as I just mentioned, though, you know, the the loss to Francis was a, was a doctor stoppage, controversial, to say the least. Uh, you want it to continue, and who knows what the outcome may have been if you were allowed to. Uh, but what kind of adjustments are you are you uh, making, if any, to ensure that you get the victory this time around? The biggest adjustment I'll be made is uh, footwork. My footwork is leaps and bounds above what it was when we fought, and I just think that'll be the biggest difference. I'll be what what, what makes my take now is easier. And after I get one takedown, that leads to two, and two leads to four, and it just, it's like a, um avalanche effect. Once I get the first one, it's pretty much over. And I know with my improved work, that'll be easier to do. Right, it's con- compounding interest, right? Right. Right, okay. Now, uh, what do you make of all this talk about his ego? You know, his coaches have commented on it. Dana White has been pretty harsh towards him, especially after the fight with uh, with uh, Derek. You know, do you think that uh, he might be believing in his own hype a bit too much, or is everyone just making a big deal about one bad performance? Um, honestly, in my own opinion, I do believe he may have had an ego. I think even after the loss of Stipe, <coughs> I think he was able to get by for so long with just being a one punch heavy heavy handed type of guy. And then when he got a little bit of adversity, he wasn't able to meet the ch- ch- challenge and I think he's unwilling to ch- to change. Um I don't see his grappling getting much better. I don't see his conditioning getting much better. And I believe he's gonna con- continue to, to rely on his one punch power. Because he has an ego. He believes in his one-punch power that much. 